Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for January 2023. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, whoops, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on. After we get some, sorry, the cards are distracting me. After we pull some clarifiers for that, we will look at the person that's on your mind um, or your person if you're currently involved and see where the energy is there if you're looking for those messages. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I've been emphasizing in my videos um, this go round that please, please put the information that I ask for in the email when you email me. It just makes it go much quicker so we can, you know, we don't have to do 15 emails. We can do like two and get set up very quickly. So if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your support. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope you'll consider subscribing and hanging out with us here. All right. So I'm going to cut the cards, but this Ace of Wands came out. It also came out for cancer. So you could be dealing with some, some cancers in work business. Somebody could be inspiring you that's a cancer because they got the card in the same spot. Um, Water signs can be very inspiring to each other. I love my Scorpios and I'm a Cancer. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of drive that kicks in this month. Something is getting started. So where you may have been holding back a little bit, uh, things can always be heavy towards the end of the year when we're going through the holidays and we're trying to wrap things up or we have a look back at all the things that we've learned. So I feel like you're going to be fired up in January. You're ready to go. So anything that comes at you, if there's new opportunities coming, I don't think you're going to hesitate. I think you're going to be like, let's do it. Let's do it. I've got the passion and the drive and I am ready to go. So the six of swords in the current energy, some of you, this is, there's a need to overcome the idea that you can't get to the other side of something. Let's see why this is happening. The wheel of fortune. I think for some of you, you may question that things can actually work out. If you've struggled long enough, it can be really hard to see the bigger picture, like see, not even the bigger picture. If there's just been struggle and you haven't been able to get to the other side of some difficult, challenging, either thought processes, belief system, things like that, I feel like this is the, the month when you're going to get either fired up to change that, to shift that thought process, or you're going to realize because uh, things start happening that it actually is possible. So in the current energy, spirit's coming in to say, no matter how much you think you can't get to the other side of this, we're coming in to show you that you can. So good things, things are turning in your favor, whether you accept that thought or not. And then the king of swords. So there's still a little bit of a lack of clarity. There's some people that you may be dealing with that you may be feeling are not being honest. And maybe that's why you've dealt with a lot of Difficult energies, people who have either been unfaithful, untruthful, didn't work with integrity, and you have a strong sense of the only way that these things are going to work out is if we work with integrity. Um, I believe that's, it's very mental energy. It's like, sometimes I feel like you get to that place and you're like, but how can things ever work out if people don't work this way? Like, this is the way my brain works and they need to see things the same way in order for things to get to the place that they need to get. So some of that is going to be changing for you. If you've been experiencing a lot of that and that's the reason that you don't think you can get to the other side, you will, especially this month. So in the near future, temperance, oops, I am so sorry, I shook you. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with someone who's a Sagittarius. I haven't been bringing up signs and who you might be dealing with in love or anything recently, but this came across strong. You may also have to have patience because a lot of your emotions could be back and forth. You could have one foot in, one foot out a lot in the near future. That's There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing to fear. It's just saying instead of maybe jumping in full force, you're saying, you know what? I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to see how I really feel about it before I take a chance. And I think it's also having a lot of patience with yourself. So underneath that, we have the King of Cups. This could be also related to a masculine energy in your life. It doesn't have to be. It's just being fully emotionally stable, which is a good sign. Because when things start to work out, 
most of us get to a place where we feel much more stable emotionally. And I think that's what you're going to do. So for those of you, regardless, again, of your gender, this means you're going to have more of a masculine outlook on things. There's going to be this sense of, and it doesn't mean that women aren't stable emotionally. This is just saying that there's, um, this card in general represents that. To me, the Queen of Cups is more about self-love. In this case, it's like stability. So you get to that place. It's like you're stronger and you make decisions. You kind of weigh out your options more and have more control over your emotions in the near future. Under that, we have the Eight of Swords. This could be around where you felt stuck. Some of you, this could have to do with a father figure and that emotional connection that you did or did not have to that person. And you realize that that's what's been holding you back. And now you're going to work through that. Or it could just be a masculine energy in your life. Um, maybe they didn't really know how to show love, but they tried for some of you. I just think you're getting better control of your own emotional stability. Now, what you don't see coming, the Six of Cups. The Okay, somebody's going to come back. Who this is, I don't know because it's going to be different for all of you. It's going to be somebody either from childhood, um, somebody that needs to apologize. But I think it's going to make you happy. I think there's something about this that fulfills you, right? So we've got things working out, being emotionally stable, and then being happy right here. That's a, a really great combination. And then the Six of Cups, some kind of sweetness, apology, whatever it is. And it could mean that there's a new beginning. Am I saying your ex is coming back? Not necessarily. This could just be somebody that is in your life that says, you know what? I really love you. I really love you. It, it could be a child, it could be a friend, it could be anybody. And they just offer you this kind gesture and it really fills your heart. And it, in some cases with the Ace of Cups, it's filling your cup more and more as an individual. And that's where a lot of this emotional stability comes in for the month. Okay, then we have this, what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Seven of Swords. They want you to focus on, again, releasing people who have not been working with their integrity as much as that can piss you off or that's something that you just can't deal with, I think a lot of this energy is releasing from your life. At least you're recognizing it a lot more in spirits. Like just focus on getting past it. Don't hold on to it if you can. Uh, release it. The Nine of Wands, you've already been through so much. You've learned so much about these types of energies that I don't think they want you to beat yourself up about having maybe accepted some of them in your life. The Five of Swords, the fight's over. Uh, spirit's like, just, you don't need to fight anymore. Like, good things are coming into your life. These are wishes, in a sense, come true. Wish fulfillment, Ace of Cups, new beginnings, and joyful experiences. After being stuck, you're having this Ace of Cups, and because you're not going to fight it anymore. Maybe there was so much pain for so long that you had to guard yourself. And now, Spirit's like, no, open up, because... Yes, you're getting much more balanced emotionally, but we want you to also feel fulfilled because you've already come through so much. So just open yourself up to have these amazing new emotional experiences this month. All right, is there going to be a challenge? The Four of Swords and then the Ten of Cups. So yes, because whatever your thought processes are around your money situation, I don't care if you have $10 million in the bank. If somebody has like a, a lack mindset, that will never be enough. And I think what you're going to be working through the challenges is to get past that, to, to stop overthinking the money aspect of things and let things flow because the, let it in. Know that you deserve it. Know that what is coming to you is everything that you deserve and then some, and you deserve more. So I want to say, get out of your own way when it comes to your thoughts around your money situation. So let's go ahead and clarify. There was a lot to say, so I don't know that we need to do much clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. This is stability, right? This is about being independent. This is also building something really great. So she's filling up this area here. She's one by one by one by one, she's growing things. And I think you're going to be inspired to start doing that. You're going to realize that you can actually start growing something or what you already had been putting your energy into is growing even if it didn't feel like it was getting to a certain place or it's taken years to get there, you're finally realizing, hey, it's getting there. 
All right, so there's your card, death and rebirth. You've gone through this process. You could be feeling like a new person in this month. Great. Four of Cups, you're not taking anything um, that isn't fulfilling emotionally. In that cup in the upright, he has three cups beside him and one cup's coming through the clouds. And it's like, I'm already kind of good. So you need to bring them all or I'm just not interested. And then we have the four of pentacles. I don't think you're going to hold on to things that don't bring you joy this month. And I'm not saying that you do or that most people would hold on to things. But sometimes we try harder than we should in relationships that don't bring us joy. So instead of continuing to give to things, I think you're going to pull back a little bit and maybe not hold on so tightly. If somebody upsets you, I think you're just going to kind of push it back. Six of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Wands. See, where is that fear that you are not going to work, that things are not going to work out? This is in your head. The Wheel of Fortune tells you that things are changing and a part of you just can't get out of that space, maybe because you feel like people have been so rotten in the past that how could things possibly work out? Eight of Pentacles is saying, you just got to stick with things. You've got the Nine of Pentacles showing you that you've grown something in some way. Eight of Pentacles is keep continue doing the work around this because you will get to a point where you clear that up. So you got a lot of mental energy here and a lot of emotional energy here in the near future. Temperance with the King of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's like you want to move smart. You don't want to move with your emotions. So that's why you're taking the time to think things through because obviously water signs, we move with emotion. And I think in this case, you want to be a little bit more grounded and the way you make your choices and how you move forward. So emotional stability and taking steps with, I just went, I completely went blank with what I was going to say. You know what I mean? It's like, that's a sense of, okay, I'm going to take steps slow. I'm going to be methodical. I'm going to make choices from a place of not emotion, but more of a grounded earthy sense. King of cups with the eight of swords three of swords, something really did hurt you in the past. And for some reason, I do feel it could be connected to a father figure for some of you. I don't know why that's coming up so strong, but it is. So if you had challenges with that person in your life, I think you realize that that healing needs to be done. And maybe that's why at times you feel like you have to work so hard to get through what you're feeling emotionally, but you will. Um, it definitely was something that hurt, no doubt about it. But you're you're taking back your power around your emotions in the in the near future. So the six of cups, what you don't see coming with the nine of cups, oops, is the four of swords. You may think things through, or maybe not believe that this is true. Like a part of you is going to sit back and cross your arms and go, "Really? <laughs> is this true? Is this possible?" I do think so, but get out of your head. The nine of cups and the ace of cups. We have the moon in reverse. So there isn't going to be a bunch of smoke and mirrors, right? Where maybe things had been a little cloudy. If the moon was in the upright, I'd say maybe you don't really know. It's a little bit of that confusing energy. This isn't the case. This is not going to be something that's going to have you spinning. I think it's going to be very clear. And the experiences that you have are going to be fulfilling and joyful. So trust it. Just allow it to happen. Don't get too far in your head about who's coming in, how they're going to come in. Just let it be. Just let them love on you and give you whatever it is that they want to and enjoy spending that time with them. All right. So what, uh, that was what you don't see coming then, what Spirit wants you to focus on with the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Ten of Cups, your happiness. Like you've put this stuff behind you. You've worked through some of the most difficult things. Now it's about focusing on your joy. So for some of you, this could just be getting together with family, um, spending time. This is actually, it looks, it's two, it looks like two women. Yeah, because it's two dresses. So this could be you and a friend, you and a partner, whatever brings you joy, whatever connections in your life. It could be spending a little bit of time with um, a mother figure, having a really good time and just enjoying it and the blessings that come with it. Much more emotional connection in that energy. So if you haven't had a lot of time with your mom, I would say open up to that because it feels like you'll have a better connection. Spirit wants you to focus on that and the joy around that. The Nine of Wands with the Five of Swords, don't fight it. The Tower, maybe something bad had happened in the past and now this is just coming back together. You could have felt betrayed by somebody in the family. 
and just now this person's coming back around and spirit's like focus on the happy parts don't focus on maybe what had happened and hopefully heal if somebody hurt you terribly maybe you can heal from whatever that was and work through it because they want you to be in this place of joy so your challenge around your money and your mindset around your money three of cups you're going to have a lot to celebrate so your challenge is allowing yourself to celebrate these wins that you have i i get it it's hard if you've had enough of them when they do come in it's almost like is this real is this actually gonna stay or do i have to worry about whether this is you know some bad pattern is going to repeat something that had happened in the past is going to repeat but i don't think so i think you're just going to experience things coming into your life some blessings coming in especially in january and realize that you can accept it things are changing at the wheel of fortune all right now that we've cleared this, I'm going to go ahead and check into you and your person. This is for Scorpio. All right. So your person's energy, we have the six of wands in reverse. This person fears coming towards you. Are they secretive? Maybe a little bit. Um, I don't know that they can take responsibility for why things don't work out. I think they just... Remember I talked about the smoke and mirrors, a little bit about the smoke and mirrors. They could have a family. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's already married or has had some kind of family connection in the past. That's not for everybody. For others of you, this could be that somebody's not very clear about how they feel, but they do enjoy the relationship. So at times, do they fear that it can be successful long-term? Possibly. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, let's see what the next one is. So this person, I feel like they have a lot of confidence. Do they have confidence around the relationship? I think they do. I think you have a very strong, or you come across as very strong and powerful to this person. So you have a lot of masculine energy, regardless of which gender you are, but you seem so graceful and stable, like strong. And they look at you like, wow, I'm confident, but you're powerful. That's their, their view of you. And then the hangman says that you've been enlightened because you're kind of looking at the hangman like, yeah, I, I've learned a lot of lessons. Like, do I, what do I do with this? If things are seeming a little foggy or maybe they're not clear about what they want, they're actually confident. They have a tremendous amount of, I want to say love because the Ten of Cups represents their love for their partnership. And I feel like there's something about this connection that they really love. Part of you may feel stuck. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe you're not sure that this is going to continue or take off or that there's going to be some kind of a new beginning. If it's if you're checking on this because it's somebody from your past, I never recommend people waiting for somebody from their past. You realize that when you have these experiences, people are just not always meant to be together. You can love them in spirit, but you have to move on. And I know that's hard when you haven't really overcome the emotional connection to someone. But if there isn't meant to be a new beginning, then there isn't meant to be one, regardless of somebody's perception. In this case, I think this person really enjoys spending time with you. Maybe a part of you is like, I'm I'm just, I'm focused too much on what matters in this particular part of my world. Maybe your work is your focus, things like that, and your strength and regaining that is more important. And even though this person's a little you know, confident about the connection, you may have to think things through. All right, let's see what we get from the romance angels for Scorpio. So we have, you deserve love. You are lovable, of course. We have to be reminded of that sometimes. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So if this is somebody from your past and you know it doesn't matter uh, how much they love you or how confident they are, if they weren't meant to be, they weren't meant to be. And I think there's a part of you that's stuck. For others of you, it could be that you're with this new person and you just still have some things that need to be worked through around an ex-partner and or your person. Because the first thing I said was you could be dealing with somebody who, oh, was that the last one? Yeah, because I said it in this one too. You could have been dealing with somebody who was married before and they need to release their ex. Children, well, there's family right there. So yes. 
It could be affected by children. It's not going to be for everybody. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Now that was a little slinger. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe this person isn't your typical type. And maybe a part of you is asking yourself, do I really want to do this? You know, the hangman. Do I really want to do this? Is this going to be something that I'm going to learn from, grow from, be happy in? Let's see what the lover's oracle. Well, actually, I'm going to get some advice. I lied. Then we'll go to the lover's oracle. All right. What can you tell Scorpio? I keep wanting to flip this nine of pentacles over. I think keeping your, obviously keeping your independence is important, regardless of which gender you are. Again, five of wands. Okay. So what Spirit's trying to say is don't fight it. If there's something that's going to happen and there's no action right now, the best thing you can do is focus on the things that are successful in your life. Because right now it doesn't think, it doesn't seem like things are going to work out. Um, at least there's no action to, to try to make things better. It feels like this person, honestly, I'm going to say it. It doesn't feel like this person fights for it. It's like they have confidence, they want it, but they don't fight for it. Let's see what we get with the lover's oracle. Mm, this one looks right. It says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if you have anything around that, obviously that card is very self-explanatory. So that may be the message. Only time will tell. Absolutely. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So how do you truly feel? Like if you're really honest with yourself, how do you feel about it? And then we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So everything's about giving this time. So... If you want to, and you know that you have a deep connection to this person, but you're in your head about it, maybe just give it some time. Maybe see how things go this month and then see if by the first of the month of February, if things have changed or if you really do believe that this is worth putting your energy in. Okay, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. We have the Observer. So this, I think, is going to be good for you when it is in regard to, well, anybody in your life. But I think taking a step back and observing how far you've come in this last year and where you stand today. You could be 49, born on the 4th, the 9th, or the 13th. The 13th of the month is going to be significant for some of you. Just keep your eyes open around that time. Something could happen. It's being brought up. So I'm going to say focus on that. Really pay attention to the things around you and the people around you. The fates. Mm, I love this. So you could be born on the 17th, 1st, 7th, or the 8th of the month. This is it. I haven't seen this card in a really long time. So I want to say you're really, really lucky. Something that was meant to come to you, you're going to feel like you're being wrapped in like healing energy. Like something's going to happen for the ones of you that actually see this video. Something that's been faded that was meant for you for all of this time is finally coming in. Some of you, you're actually going to be in the spotlight. So some of you, this could end up making you like a star or someone who's um, seen by lots and lots and lots of people. All right, next we have mending. This is the inner child healing to me. That's what this is about. You could be 52, born on the 5th, 2nd, or the 7th of the month. Healing the inner child is one of the most significant challenges we have in this human life. And I think you're working on that. That's part of the reason that that father energy popped up. For those of you that had challenges around that, if you didn't and you had a wonderful father, great, lucky you. But for those of you that didn't and your part of your journey here as a soul was to learn self-love and to do some inner child healing, then I think that's going to be accomplished significantly more so in this month than it has in the past. And then the yang energy. So very strong, like I said, with the king of cups about stronger masculine energy. I think you're going to be living in that this month. But again, regardless of your gender. So just, it's going to be more self-motivated. You're going to be focusing more on you, which I think is beautiful. The one energy is a signification of self. 
So don't feel ashamed. Do you focus on you? This month is definitely about showing you that all this hard work, the things that you have built up to this point were worth it. I think you're going to get the accolades that you deserve. All right, my loves, thank you so much for being here. Again, if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. And as I asked before, if you could read through and answer all the questions I ask, all it is is your time zone, how long of a reading you'd like, um, when you're available, days or evenings, and I th one other thing. But it's just so much easier for me to schedule you if you can leave me that information in the email because I am busy. So if it takes a long time to schedule, it can be a little frustrating for you and for me. All right, my loves, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Take care.